Welcome back. So I'm out on the runway now and uh, trying to do, or going to do a high speed test here and with some cameras, you know, mounted in different positions. So this is looking down the roof there into the inlet um, scoop and just wanted to see how the air is flowing in there, if it was sort of separating on the roof or anything like that. Obviously it's going to do something different when it's at a higher alpha, but you know, we've got to start with some basic just runs down the runway. And uh, you know, things are looking good here. The air is definitely going in there. It's not sort of bouncing around per se. So um, this one looks okay, and I'm I'm happy with how that's uh, working out. And then the next camera angle uh, that I had there was uh, underneath um, the left wing, and I've zoomed the image in there so you can see the tufts there hanging out in the back. Uh, cowling vent and if you look carefully also um, the ones around this the cowling there by the spinner and obviously you're only seeing the lower half ones here and that looks okay I, it looks like the air is not being sort of uh, deflected too much by the shape of the fuselage in other words it's coming straight out of that uh, cowling vent and likewise I'm out of the gap where the spinner is so I'm fairly confident that's working as well as it should there and then I won't um, really try and ask you to see the next one because the camera was mounted on the left, on the right side, and I've zoomed this image in a lot. And it's and really this one was to try and see the uh, tufting there on the top of the cowling there by the spinner, but it's so difficult to see there because of the way the sun was and camera zoomed in and it's all shaky and stuff. But pretty much the tuft there is following the profile of the. Uh, fuselage so it's sort of pointing down a little bit uh, so inconclusive yet on that one uh, and so this one is the camera mounted to uh, the gear leg down by the wheel and looking under the wheel well there and now just accelerating down the runway just to show you all the mess that's happening inside that wheel well and you can see it's very turbulent in there um, it's not swirling around and you can actually see I've I've put that little um, L channel fence there and I've taped that onto the leading edge on the lower side of the um, wing skin there just to see how that affects it and ultimately really what I need to do here is uh, mount the camera up there on that tie down point on the wing so that'll what I'll be doing next because this you can see the camera was moving around here and in, uh, eventually it got kind of loose and as you see <laughs> tilted on its own so um, still need to do more testing with that tufting to figure out what's going on uh, in the meantime, I'm um, still working on other projects. So these are the pieces of aluminum here. This is all one eighth of an inch thick um, for these two tanks that I'm making that are going to be up in the nose. So I cut all those pieces. Um, took me a while to get all that sorted out. Unfortunately, I've got access to the machine shop there at True Flight. So nice of them to allow me to use that. So I've um, got everything done and that's been taken off to the welder now. and dealing with a new welder I don't have the luxury of having Brit being able to do this for me and it looks like it's going to be probably at least a week before I get this stuff back but uh, just pointing out there where the weld bungs are going to be in for where the fittings go in and out of these tanks and I'll also be getting an expansion tank for this as well to allow for the extra expansion uh, so next little experiment I wanted to see what this would do um, creating a lip there to uh, you know force the air down away from that outlet and to see if that would uh, make a difference and also decided to do the same thing so I you know made a little template for these little pieces and as you can see there I'm just taping them on um, to the trailing edge of the cowling there just for the upper surface because the air was sort of following the cowling down and I think it was um, potentially not creating enough low pressure there so this is a static run there just out on the ramp with that um, set up there as you can see and uh, just did a quick run to full power just to see how the tufts were looking there and I don't really think it's making too much of a difference on the bottom one with the cowling vent but the upper one there um, I think the tufts there are being deflected more directly aft instead of following the, the downward slope of the cowling so that may make, maybe making a difference but uh, really I need to do some more runs um, down the runway and just see if this 
uh, actually makes a difference on the cooling. Um, you know, actually, you know, making a difference and getting more flow uh, running through the engine. So, because if it's not, it's just a waste of time, you know, having this. But uh, uh, you know, just experimenting with everything that I can do to try and get better cooling happening through the cowling. Anyway, so still got more work to do on that, and that's what you'll be seeing in the next video. So this is the update for this week. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.